gave us this job because we're growing up. Check out the changes in our height. Height means how tall something is. Now we're tall enough to mail the letters. Cat and I both want to carry the five letters, so we're sharing them fairly. Cat holds two, I hold two, and we take turns holding the one extra special red letter. No! There's a really big dog right in front of the mailbox. We've never seen a dog that big before, and we're totally afraid of him. We've got a really big problem. <laughs> Has an idea. If he stands on my shoulders, we'll look like one really tall person. The big dog will be scared of us. Heads up, Mr. Dog! Tall cat person coming your way. So big, so tall. He's getting closer. I don't think he's scared of us. Run, cat! The extra special red letter landed right on the big dog's head. I've got to get it back. Please don't hurt me, your bigness. Check it out, cat. The big dog isn't mean. He's cuddly as a kitten. So now we can mail the letters. We better do it quickly before the mail truck comes. We're not tall enough to reach the mailbox. We promised Mom we'd mail these letters right away. We are totally freaking out. You genius dog! By lifting us up, you increased our height. We're tall enough to put the letters in the mailbox. Problem solved. And so. The problem, problem is solved. solved. We solved the problem. <laughs> problem solved. We totally mailed four letters. Plus one extra important letter. That's all five of Mom's letters. We did it all by ourselves. With a little help from a big friend who drools. The Big Dog Problem The Election Problem Hi there, I'm Peg and this is Cat. The farmer needs someone to watch his 100 chickens while he takes his eggs to market. I really hope he picks me. The pig wants to watch the chickens, too, so we'll have an election to decide who gets to be in charge while the farmer's away. The chickens can vote for who they want by sitting in front of a picture of me or the pig. Whoever has most chickens on their side wins the election. Come on, chickens, vote for me! Let's count how many chickens have voted so far. There are four chickens on my side and five chickens on the pig's side. Since five is more than four, the pig is winning. I've got a really big problem. Vote for me, chickens. I know. I'll sing the chickens a song to get them to vote for me. Chickens, this sign means more than. If you vote for me instead of the pig, that's exactly what you'll get. More. So be sure to vote for more than. Vote for pig. The chickens liked my song, so I have 23 votes. But the pig burped and boinked his tail. Now he has 40 votes. That's way more than I have. How will I ever catch up? It's my friend Ramon, the mayor of Moo Haven. He says that to win the election, I should let the chickens know what I'm good at. Like counting. 
Counting is even cooler than boinging your tail. Let's try it. Chicken small can count, I'm big to count them all. It's working! Now I have 50 votes and the pig has 49. But the littlest chicken is still making up her mind. I need her to pick me so I can win the election. I am totally freaking out! Cat says I should try counting backwards from five to calm down. Five, four, three, two, one. The littlest chicken loves how I can count backwards. Words. She is voting for me. Now I have 50 plus one more equals 51 votes. 51 is more than the pig's 49 votes. So more chickens voted for me. So by knowing more than and less than and counting up and down, I won the election. I get to be in charge of 100 chickens while the farmer is away. Thanks, Chicky Chicks. Problem solved. The perfect ten problem! Welcome to The Perfect Ten! The show where everyone gets ten stars, so everyone's a winner! I'm your perfect host, Ramon! Our judges will decide how many stars to give the performers. Each contestant must get a total of 10 stars. No more, no less. Now it's time for our first contestants. Here are Richard, Baby Fox, and Littlest Chicken singing Small, Smaller, Smallest. Small, small, smallest. Chick is the smallest of the three. What a performance! First, the parrot gives five stars. Next, Peg and Cat give five stars. So all together they have ten stars! And now for our next act, the Pirates! We're four, four, four jolly pirates. Four jolly pirates are we. Especially me. Let's see if the pirates made our judges jolly. The parrot's upset that the pirates left her out, so she only gave them one star. It's up to Peg and Cat to bring the total to ten. Peg and Cat count on their fingers and find that the pirates need nine more stars. And one plus nine equals another perfect ten. And now, for our final performance, he's pink, he's proud, he's the pig! I love dragons. Uh oh, Parrot gave the pig ten stars. If Peg and Cat give even one more star, he'll have eleven. The pig will have more than the other contestants, and they'll be miserable. We have a really big problem! 
What's this? Those circles on Cat's paws are giving Peg an idea. The circles look like zeros. If they give the pig zero stars, the problem will be solved. Since 10 plus zero equals 10. Since the parrot gave the pig 10 stars, he doesn't need any more. Pig and Cat give him zero stars, making another perfect 10. Because Peg and Cat knew about the number 0 and about adding to 10, everybody got a perfect 10! Problem solved!